I'm right in the heart of the town with the Mavic Airdrome. There's not a lot of wind about, and it's also a reasonably good sunny day. A little bit of a haze which will give it a mist over the sea, otherwise it's pretty clear. And there you can see I'm starting to go higher than Thanet's highest building, which is that white block known as Arlington House. In some ways it's like having your own personal observation tower doing this. It's an interesting experience, especially when you get to see the finished results. So now we're going to take a look at Margate with a bird's eye view in glorious 4K. Technology has come a really long way. This has been taken with a stabilised camera handheld, but using the exact same techniques as they do with a lot of the drones nowadays. And it's good to be able to intermix the footage together as well. This is obviously the clock tower area, which is pretty much centralised seafront. This is from the opposite side where you can see more inside the amusement park, the stage area, the Ferris wheel. To the left of Arlington House, just behind that is the old swimming pool area, which used to be part of the old sun deck that once stood there. Right over the farther side is the surrounding areas of broad stairs. That's all Westgate on Sea, Birchington up that way. That long building central to the left used to be part of the old railway station. It's no longer used as we now have one a little further along. seem to be having a, a group photo down there, don't they? We're still waiting for the leaves to start growing properly for the spring. They are coming. There's a lot of little practice goals in the ground today. 
You can't see any of this from the ground itself. This is another viewpoint from Cliftonville, overlooking the housing estate and the sea behind. Looks a lot more clearer with a few clouds about though. At the moment I've just been sending the drone straight up and down again where I can see it. I will eventually venture out and be a little more adventurous but it does leave you a little nervous knowing that you're responsible for the aircraft no matter how small and you worry about losing control and you really don't want to lose it either. But on saying that this particular drone is reputed to be one of the safest drones to fly. It sets its home position on takeoff when you first start out, or you can set it yourself anytime. Also, it does have several camera sensors which take photographs of the surrounding area. That's to familiarize itself with the position, as well as uh, a really good GPS system that homes in on no less than seven satellites. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed the bird's eye view of Margate. There's only certain places I can't do this from as I need to be away from the crowds. Uh, and also certain times of the year will make a difference. Thanks for watching. Do check out my channel for more uploads on similar things, also theme parks and other cameras I've got. This is Jeff Dean here. See you all on YouTube.